Senator Wicker that Hegseth said in, in their meeting that if he's confirmed to the position, he, he will not drink. Do you have any concerns uh, about these issues? Um, and if there isn't a problem, why need he can uh, swear to uh, sobriety? Well, you know, he's made those affirmative comments and said something similar to me in our meeting. I think he's trying to address these issues head on uh, as they've been swirling around. And I think you've started to see his mom was interviewed. I've not seen the, the entirety of that interview, um, I think, speaking up for his character. Uh, but again, he's been nominated. President Trump ran on a reform agenda. And Pete Hexeth, I do think he brings a reform minded agenda to the Pentagon. We're in desperate need of that. This is not a partisan issue. Uh, we're in a real um, competition with China. We will be judged on who wins that in this next in the century that we're in right now. And I think, again, there's a lot of reform that we need in the Pentagon. That's why President Trump selected him. I think he's going to get wide deference on those uh, on those picks, you know, including Pete Hexeth. But the, look, this is what this process is all about. We're here for another couple of weeks. Then we come back and these confirm confirmation hearings will begin in earnest in public view. That's all part of the process. Uh, and I think he's, again, addressing it head on and meeting with senators one on one, which is what he should do. If a, a track record of, of numerous infidelities um, and alleged sexual mis misconduct and alleged problems with alcohol that he's either denied or said doesn't represent him anymore, this, this is who he is. Would you hire somebody that that had these descriptions about who he was to, to run your office, given what we know is a fact and the allegations. I mean, do you not really have any concerns? Well, you, you kind of mix two words there together there, uh, Jake, which is the fact of the allegations. Let's look at these in two different buckets. The first is the 2017 incident that you referenced. The prosecutor, the female prosecutor, decided not to move forward with, with charges. I'd be interested to see, as a former prosecutor myself, Attorney General of Missouri, what other surrounding documents and memorandum might exist that related to that decision not to charge. Um, and then secondly, now you have, again, a bunch of anonymous uh, um, folks coming for not even coming forward who are in the shadows claiming something mm -hmm. and I just don't think that's a that's a reason why um, you would you know dismiss somebody from a very important role like this and so well, I, I said the facts and the allegations because the facts of the infidelities of how he has run his personal life are just facts and frankly as a married man and a father absolutely disgraceful but beyond that um, there are these allegations he paid hush money to his accuser in California. I've never paid hush money to anybody. Well, he settled a lawsuit um, that, again, the, ch the underlying charges were deemed by a prosecutor as baseless. And, and those are the facts. But again, I think this is a, uh, um, again,